over to Ravi. Yeah, Ravi with a pair of nines. Well, Ravi, all in. Ravi is all in at the WPT Five Diamond World Poker Classic. Started with 503 players, we are now down to six. Who will win the top prize of over $1.2 million? Let's get back to the action. In fifth place right now, going all in with the two nines. Sean out. Now it's on the Cattle Ranch man. Got a nothing hand goes away. Antonio also flies away, and now it's back on call. Lichtenberger. And of course, he's going to call with the ace queen. We have a showdown. Good old classic race. Well, the classic race situation the two over cards versus the under pair. Ace queen versus two nines. Robbie's nines must stand up, or he's going to be our sixth place finisher. And that's what Robbie does. He stands up. He'd love to see his nines hold up. Well, he's a Big Ten graduate. University of Illinois economics major. 9-9, nine, nine, right on the flop. Robbie has flopped quads. Wow. So much for that race, Vance. It is over. Robbie sits back down. <laughs> Lucky Chewy counting out his chips. Well, Vance, Lucky Chewy didn't even get out of the blocks there. It was over that quick. That's the way to do it, Robbie. Nice answer. <laughs> he almost seems embarrassed. But not quite. There's the Royal Flush Girl Social Bar. And if you come out here on the World Poker Tour, you'll get to meet Mike and myself and Kimberly and the Royal Flush Girls. And if you're a clubwpt.com VIP member, you actually get preferential seating at the Royal Flush Girl Social Bar. Action over to the livestock dealer, Tommy Winters. Tommy's got a pair of sevens. Nice mid pair. Yeah, got the two walking sticks. Makes 115,000 to go, magician. Disappears. Lucky Chewy not going to play, and now it's on Jeremy Cotler. He's got ace, king of diamonds. All in. There all he goes. Automatic all in bet right here when you're on the short stack. Robbie with a little 4 3 gets out of the way. No call. All right, so the cowboy calls. So the Buckeye. Good luck, Jeremy. All in for his tournament life here. Ace King of Diamonds versus the two seven of Tommy Winters. Here comes the first three. And the flop is at eight, five, three. No luck with Jeremy Cutler. Deuce of Diamonds make it interesting. Jeremy Cutler wants a sweat. Says, just give me a diamond, give me anything. But especially at Ace or King, it's a deuce of hearts. No help for Jeremy. He does give him a straight draw. Forward one and four and two. Must have an ace, king, or a four. Nothing else will do for Jeremy. And those Cowboys on the rail. Rooting on, Mr. Winters. And here comes the river. Nine of diamonds. So that's going to do it for the Buckeye. Jeremy <laughs> Cotler, branded by the livestock dealer there. Tommy Winters taking down the pot. So long, Jeremy. Well, he'll pick up 187,000. A big effort from the man from Santa Monica, the consultant, non-professional, but played well. He's going over to talk to Matt Savage. I came in with a lot of higher expectations for today, but you know, the cards didn't work out, and uh, it's the way it goes sometimes. Well, great run here at Bellagio. I'm sure we'll see you on the next World Poker Tour. Congratulations, Jeremy. Tired of sitting down at a poker table filled with pros? Then come the WPT Global, the online home of the World Poker Tour. With a maximum of two pros at each table, everyone has a chance to win. We are leveling the playing field at WPT Global. Simply click the sign up link in the upper right hand corner. Sign up with bonus code YT36 and we'll match your first deposit dollar for dollar. As five players remain. Back down the table, it's on Antonio. Four tough pros and a rancher out of Texas fighting it out for this title. Antonio with a jack eight of hearts is going to raise, makes it 135 to go. And now Lucky Chewy with an uneventful 8 6 releases that hand. Robbie also going away. Over to Sean Buchanan, who's going for his second WPT title tonight. He's out as well. And now it's on. Tommy Winters looks down at a king five of spades. Now well, up against the all time. Leader in money winnings in poker history, Antonio, but it doesn't scare the cowboy Vince. He three bets him with a king five. The magician calls. 
We got a little bull ride here. And a flop. Six deuce deuce. No help to either player. You gotta love it. The cowboy is reaching for continuation betting chips, and there they go, and a healthy bet at that, 450000 That's a man's bet right there, Tommy. You would think he's just very tight, but now he's coming out of his shell here. You a manly man, Tommy? Climb mountains and stuff, or? More of a Ritz Carlton kind of guy. Huh? Hey, don't get fancy talking with him, Antonio. No comment? Guy rides bulls for a living. The bulldog Antonio Tommy. down to the ground. Tommy, I'm over here. <laughs> the guy looks like a cowboy, Vince. You gotta admit it. Yeah. He looks like he's wrestled steers. Oh, absolutely. Uh, he's like a Paul Bunyan type character. And he's gonna take the pot. The cattleman putting a little branding on Antonio there. Just a short one. Tommy makes me nervous. These young wizards, you know, whatever. Tommy makes me nervous. Hey, the only thing missing, Vince, the cowboy needs a cowboy hat, Vince. That's all he needs. But you know what? Cowboys were always pretty good poker players. They used to play out on the trail, sit around eating their baked beans and everything, and what else do you do? <laughs> you, you play poker, so you gotta be pretty good. You know, actually, the original game of Hold'em, this is rumored, that's where the game started, because the cattle ranchers finally figure out a game to give 18 players, because you had 18 guys sitting around the campfire, and you give them all two cards, and you'd be okay, you could still have the hand, and that's how it started, the game of Texas Hold'em. Well, this hand starting with a raise by Lucky Chewy with the two nines, but right behind him, Robbie Ragavan has picked up big slick, he's got ace king. Big hand for the guy from Chicago, poker pro, Robbie. There it is, goes to 385, Bucky getting out of their way. Cowboy folding. Well, Robbie thinks Lucky Chewy is the best player at this table. Shows you the kind of respect he's got for this guy when Antonio's sitting at this table. Just move your right hand. Yeah, remember the last time these two played a big pot? Well, Lucky Chewy four bet it. Robbie five bet all in. What's Lucky Chewy gonna do this time with the two nines? All in. That's what he's gonna do. I call. Well, he's gone all in and he's been cold by Robbie. And it's a classic race situation once again. So far, every time we've had a race here, the underpair has won the pot. Will it happen again? If so, Ravi will be out in fifth place. Lucky Chewy has him covered, but not by much. There's the Royal Flush Girl Social Bar, where the girls are hanging out with famous poker pro Daryl Fish. And also John Aguiar, the guy that finished on the TV well, bubble damn. in seventh place in this tournament. Here's the flop. A big ace hits for Ravi. He has hit his aces on the flop. Well, you never know what looking at him, Vance. He understands this pot is not over till the next two cards come off. He's standing there like Mr. Clean, very proud. Here comes the turn. And the jack comes off, so Lucky Chewy is gonna have to get very lucky and catch a nine on the river to win this pot and eliminate Ravi. Ravi's staying so stoic. Here comes the river. It's a 10, pairs the board. That is good for Ravi. And that's gonna triple Lucky Chewy. Well, there you see the stack tracker. This indicates how a player's chips have gone up and down at this final table. Ravi now moves into second place at this final table with 4.2 million. Lucky Chewy at the bottom of the totem pole now, Vince, sitting in a distant fifth place. Five players remain. Next person out gets over 200,000, but they're all focusing on first place. And here, action's going to Lucky Robbie. After that last hand, he's gonna fold a 6-5. He's got chips now. Sean Buchanan, WPT champion, goes away. Well, the cowboy has picked up King Jack of Hearts. He's on the button, in position, and gonna raise it. 135,000 to go. With the King Jack of Hearts. Antonio now also with a King Jack, but it's of diamonds. In the same exact hand. Antonio gonna make the call. And now, let's see if they can chase away Lucky Chewy. Of course they do. He has a nothing hand, so King Jack versus King Jack. Here we go. Oh, nice flop for Antonio there. He's flopped the ace high straight draw, but he has the flush draw. He certainly does, and he's first to act and take the play away. He's gonna bet it. How much is it? 160. 
Well, what will the Cowboy do now? He just has a gut shot straight draw. He's making the call, Vince. It's a backdoor flush draw, of course, but Antonio with the better hand at the moment. But no longer, as the three of hearts comes off, Vince, they both got the gut shot straight draw. They both have the flush draw. Antonio going to bet it. Now, this is going to be interesting to see how it plays out here. 2.30. And Tommy Winters with a quick call. So both players looking for a red card. One a diamond, one a heart. All right, who will catch? No one. Now the black three comes off. Most likely, whoever bets at this pot will win it. Antonio was checked. He's basically giving up the hand, but the cowboy can't complete it. Hang on. Well, it goes check, check. It's going to be a split pot here. They both have the same hand. Both relieved. <laughs> oh, wish you would raise the fob so I could get it all in. Lucky Chewy in a distant fifth place. But Ravi Ragaman, who came to this final table in the last chip position, is now the chip leader. And he's now 10,000 blinds, 40 and 80. Quick fold by Sean Buchanan. And the cattle rancher, Tommy Winters, out. Antonio also disappears. Lucky Chewy. Andrew Lichtenberger with an ace nine here. Bench is an automatic move in with a short stack here against the big blind. He's shoved with the ace nine, and he gets a quick call by Ravi with queen four. Well, Ravi has plenty of chips to call him with. Lucky Chewy out in front here. Great shot for him to double up and get back in this thing. Good luck, boys. He knows Ravi has owned him so far at this final table. Good Schuster with the best hand. Beat him virtually every pot so far. If it continues here, that'll do it for Lucky Chewy tonight. Not so lucky if that's the case. Here comes the first three. It's a, oh boy, a four for Ravi. Well, neither player showing any emotion after that flop. There's the big cheese, Tom Marchese. That's Lichtenberger's buddy. And a terrific young, talented player. Many of them in the house watching here. Comes the turn card. Deuce on the turn. Lucky Chewy. This guy's finished eighth, fourth, and gonna be fifth unless he hits an ace or nine the last three years in this tournament. That is an impressive run. Well, there's Doc Sands also sweating the action here. Good luck, Lucky Chewy. It's not an ace or a nine, it's bye bye Lucky. It's a king of spades, no luck for Lucky Chewy. So Lucky Chewy, not so lucky tonight. Out in fifth place. And Doc Sands cheering for his buddy, but it just didn't happen tonight for Andy. Yeah. Schuster. Andrew Lichtenberger, always fun to watch. Good luck, man. I'm with you, well. You too. Always, always Good a luck. pleasure. He's a fine sport. He's going to take home 234000 And right now, he's walking over to talk to Matt Savage. Thanks, Vince. Andrew, classy and defeat. Everybody is staying at the table. You had a big smile even when you lost that big flip. How do you do that? Uh, just can't let things affect my emotions that I can't control. And just, yeah, that's about it. I know you said the title was the most important thing. This is your third time here at the final table uh, here at Bellagio. So obviously you have a lot of success here. And I know you're going to win some more events. So congratulations on your finish today. And I'm sure we'll see you at the next event. Cool. Thanks, Andrew. Thank you. Back to you, Kimberly. Sean Buchanan, 30-year-old out of Canada with an A6 is going to raise this. Makes it 160 to go. Anytime you're in a shorthanded poker game like this, you're going to raise with any ace. Sean doing it right there. Cowboy quickly mucking a king nine of diamonds. Antonio also out. Into Ravi in the big blind. He's going to call with a, just a 9-10 offsuit. So the competition continues in this hand. Here comes the flop. Flop comes king 6-4. Cowboy wishing he had his king nine back. Ravi checks with his nothing. Sean has picked up a pair of sixes. And he makes a nice continuation bet. Looks like 125 with the sixes. Ravi with no hand and no draw. Look at this, Vince. He's going to make the call. This is what we call a float bet, folks. He's going to try to steal this pot later. If he hits nothing, an eight comes up. He is either going to check raise this or bet on the river for sure. They both check. The Jack of Diamonds. Ravi doesn't hit. No doubt about it, he's going to bluff at this pot on the river. It's the only way he can win the pot. It's what he was planning to do when he called on the flop. And he is doing it. Yeah, nice bet. 475. Yeah, tough to call with just two sixes here. Sean goes out, but just got outplayed by Robbie. You got to salute the guy for just outplaying him. 
Tired of sitting down at a poker table filled with pros? Then come the WPT Global, the online home of the World Poker Tour. With a maximum of two pros at each table, everyone has a chance to win. We are leveling the playing field at WPT Global. Simply click the sign up link in the upper right hand corner. Sign up with bonus code YT36 and we'll match your first deposit dollar for dollar. Andy's are 10,000, blinds are 40 at 80,000, and it's on the cowboy, Tommy Winters. Tommy's gonna quickly make it 180,000 to go, but look at this, the magician. Antonio right behind him with a legitimate pair of tens. Yeah, just doubled the cowboy up a minute ago. He'd like to get some of those chips back here. This is a good hand in a four-handed poker game, so he's gonna raise it to 425,000. Ravi and Sean, the cannon Buchanan getting out of the way. So back on the cowboy. He's got a little less than Antonio at this point. He's gonna make the call. Taylor's wagging the dog here, folks. I'm guessing Antonio is not going down to the ranch to see Tommy in the near future. Well, here's the flop at the King 9-5. Well, no help to Tommy. He's gonna check. There is one overcard out there, but when you've got two tens and your opponent checks, you are gonna bet here. Antonio doing just that. 560,000 is the bet. But... You still mad at me? Very. You steaming? Wow, Vince. Antonio's speechless for the first time. Let's see what's going on here. I think Antonio's yeah, There you see him. WPT executive tour director Matt Savage and Antonio's dad and the Royal Flush Girls watching the action. Tommy hit nothing here. Finally, he's gonna muck his hand. And Antonio getting a little revenge. Back at the Cowboy. And Antonio Esfandiari trying to add to his money total. He's already the all-time money leader in poker history with over 23 million in earnings. And look at Pops. You talk about like father, like son. Yeah. Win more hands. Every hand you win, I get this. Boy, I tell you, the perks of a dad. <laughs> that is just amazing. That's a beautiful thing. You know, you two can sit with the Royal Flush Girls at the Royal Flush Girls Social Bar. If you come out on the tour, meet Mike Sexton, myself, and Kimberly, and all the gang. All right, back to the table. Robbie with a quick fold. Sean Buchanan with an ace five is gonna raise 160 to go. Yep, standard raise on the button in position here when you're just up against the blinds. Cowboy's gonna fold it, and Antonio with just a 7-10. He's in the big blind, and look at, wow. It's a three bet here with this junk hand. He's made it 400,000 to go, and that is gonna shrink up the ace five of Sean Buchanan. Sean Buchanan, WPT champion. All in. What? Look at that. He has read Antonio like a book right here. What's the total? He just thought Antonio was making a three bet on fluff and puff, and that's exactly the case. Sean Buchanan going for his second WPT title as a fearless player, and you can see it right there, Vance. What a play by Sean Buchanan to take that pot that down. That is just knowing your player. That is the play of the night. Strong player. And that's why this guy is one of the greats. We've seen him around so many times. He's cashed so many times. He's a WPT champion. Everyone respects him in the game of poker. Well, poker is about playing the people. They talk about math odds and all that. It's still a people game. He read his person perfectly right there. And Antonio Esfandiari took the pot right away from him. By this time, he gets out of the way with the hand. And Tommy from Marble Falls, Texas, the cattle herder, cowboy, is going to fold it. Now the magician, Antonio Esfandiari, has picked up Ace King. Oh, gonna raise with this hand, obviously. Makes it 200,000 to go. But behind him, Ravi has picked up the weapons of mass destruction, the pair of aces. Well, Vince, that's what we call the cooler in poker, as you know. It's just a hand that you just can't get away from in a shorthanded poker game if your opponent shoves. Well, this comes from a cold deck being snuck up on the table for a fix. That's why we call it a cooler. It's been cold. It's a cold hand, and it's a bad one for Antonio. 
It could prove to be a hot hand for Robbie right here. Wow. That's for sure. He is going to three bet it up to 490,000. And that's I'm convinced that Antonio is going to raise yet again. And there you go. All in. Call. God. Well, the re-raise all in and calls. That's so sick. Antonio recognizes that's the one hand he didn't want to fade. Well, the crowd hushed, as you can see. Ravi, a 94% favorite to win this hand. How's that possible, small blind, big one? It's so sick. This could do it for the magician. He's going to really have to pull a rabbit out of the hat so. to stay alive in this tournament. Yep, Antonio has made this final table three years in a row at Bellagio. Nice answer. He has cashed here in the last five years. What a record. Two-time WPT champion. So sick. Circling the drain right now with this. Still five cars. Huh? Yeah. And since last year's events, Vince, he won a million-dollar buy-in tournament for 18 million. He won a World Series of Poker Europe bracelet. And here comes the flop. Flop comes up, Jack, 9-4, no help for Antonio. Antonio gonna have to catch two runners in a row to stay alive in this tournament. He needs to catch King King or a running queen in a 10. Well, his dad is still trying to cheer him on, but as you can see by Antonio's expression, just not meant to be, doesn't look like. The third card, a 10, that's well, one card. Yep, there's one of them. Well, his dad knows he needs a queen to make a straight to win this pot. And what a brutal beat this would be for Ravi if a queen pops up there now. You can see he's a little worried about it, but nothing you can do. All the money's out there. You just hold your breath and hold on. Uh, the magician has to hit the miracle queen. Can he do it? Here it is. No. Nope. Gonna be a six. So the crowd shocked as the chip That's leader coming you. into this final table, <laughs> Antonio Esfandiari, That's the guy who's made this final table three consecutive years, going cover, after right? a second win in this event, out tonight in fourth place. Ten came, the queen didn't go. Antonio the Magician has disappeared. 329,000 he'll pick up. Crowd is stunned. Antonio going over to talk to Matt Savage. Thanks, Vince. Done a lot of these final tables. I'm not sure I've ever seen the support that you've uh, had here tonight uh, for you. How does that feel to have that kind of group behind you? It's fantastic. I mean, all my loved ones are here, all my friends, my family. You know, it's, it, it's really a nice feeling. So I'm a little sad that I couldn't bring home the victory for them since they've been so supportive this whole tournament. But unfortunately, they'll just have to wait till next year. The third final table, you think it's going to be four next year? I think. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Well, congratulations on another great run, Antonio. I'm sure we'll see you in LA. Thank you very much. All right. That's right. And the blinds are going up to 50 and 100. Let's go to the cowboy, Tommy Winters. Down to three after a cold deck for Antonio. Final three guaranteed almost $500,000. Quick fold by him. 300. And now the chip leader, Robbie, with a pair of sixes, makes it 300,000 to go. John quickly folds, so Robbie taking that pot down to extend his chip lead. Robbie from Chicago, 26 years old, his second WPT final table. What a player, what a night he's having. <clears throat> Highly respected by the young players out on tour. Robbie graduated from the University of Illinois, an economics major, looking to take down his first WPT title. He's in great shape to do that. Nine three offsuit. Decides to fold and now Sean Buchanan. Oh, he's got a real hand. Pair of tens. Very nice. Makes it 240 to go into the cowboy, who has a pretty interesting A7. Right. And he says raise. Could be getting into some trouble here. Don't get yourself caught up on the stirrup there. All in by Sean. Uh-oh. He has called this. Well, the cowboy could get bucked off the horse here, no doubt about it. Sean Buchanan well out in front with the 210. So Tommy must win this pot to stay alive in this tournament. Has the cowboy ridden his last horse tonight? Sean out in front with the tens with five cards to come. Yeah, Sean Buchanan, as you can see, over a two to one favorite to win the pot. Sean Buchanan looking confident. Here come the first three. And flop is six, three, deuce, two spades. That's certainly no good for Tommy. No, Tommy's saying the prayer. 
Well, there you see his wife, Tempe, rooting him on. You know the two kids, Tiffany and Thomas, they're at home watching Dad. Let's see if he can do it. Well, an aid comes off, so we are down to the river. Tommy Winters, the 45-year-old cowboy from Marble Falls, Texas, must catch an ace on the river to stay alive in this tournament. Come on, Ace. Come on, Ace. Come on. Come on. doesn't want to go back to the ranch just yet. Come on, Ace. Come on, she says. Now we're down to the river for the cowboy. Well, it's a five. So there you go. The cowboy thrown off his horse by the Canadian pro, Sean Buchanan. But what a tournament for Tommy Winters out tonight in third place. But Vince, the amateur, played great all week long. Uh, he was excellent. He's a fine player, a gentleman. He showed real game. But the cattle rancher has to go back to the ranch. And he's going over to talk to Matt Savage. Tommy, you came into this final table as the only amateur. What's tougher, beating these guys or herding cattle? Oh, beating these guys, definitely. <laughs> They're pros. I was just uh, having fun. Well, almost half a million in uh, cash here. That's a lot of beef. That is a lot of beef. <laughs> All right, congratulations. I hope to see you again on the World Poker Tour. You did a great job tonight against these tough, tough pros. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you to the Bellagio and to the World Poker Tour for everything. Had Were a great you? week. Thank you very much. Tired of sitting down at a poker table filled with pros? Then come to WPT Global, the online home of the World Poker Tour. With a maximum of two pros at each table, everyone has a chance to win. We are leveling the playing field at WPT Global. Simply click the sign up link in the upper right hand corner. Sign up with bonus code YT36 and we'll match your first deposit dollar for dollar. Robbie Rogovan well out in front now with over 12 million in chips. Sean Buchanan has about 3 million in chips. Sean Buchanan with ace five of clubs just calling. Once again, yet again, that's his tactic. Just keep the pot small and Robbie pleased to do just that. Flop comes up, jack, eight, five, all spades. Robbie with jacks, Sean with fives. They both check, four diamonds on the turn. Robbie's got top pair. Sean's got bottom pair, so. Robbie bet 150, it's been called down to the river. Uh, six comes off. Neither player going to be happy about that card. Possible straight, possible flush out there. Ravi checks it. And there's Greg Mueller, a great player himself. He almost made the final table in this tournament, Vince. He went deep as well. One more time, Greg Mueller. Sean's going to check right behind him, just hoping the two fives are good. They're not, though, as Ravi turns up the jacks. Going to win yet another pot in this heads-up battle. And right now, nothing seemingly going right for Sean Buchanan. Now that's what goes on at the Royal Flush Girl Social Bar. You see this? You might be busted out of the tournament, but you still have hope. You go sit up there, you talk, you kibitz. Do you think those guys really care what's going on at the table here, Vince? They could care less. <laughs> but we do, and on we go. It's on Ravi. This time he's got, oh boy, big slick. Ace, king of clubs. Monster hand here. Makes it 425 to go, but guess who's going to go away? That is Sean. Robbie shows him the big hand he had. <laughs> and Sean Buchanan laid down a jack deuce. Well, obviously, he was hoping Sean would push there. That didn't happen. <laughs> Ravi continues to gain a huge chip lead heads up. Can he close it out and win over 1.2 million? <laughs> yeah, but he's thinking to himself, that was a wasted hand. I could have won the title perhaps with that. He's getting oh so close, 12.2 versus 2.9. This has virtually been a one-man band in this heads-up battle, Vince. Not necessarily big pots, but it seems like Robbie's winning them all. Sean. All in by Sean. Uh-oh. Well, he's gone all in, and he's been cold. Hey, hey, hey. It's like the first raise that Sean has made in this heads-up battle. And now, look at the bad shape he's in. The sevens, I have king seven. <laughs> Nothing working for Sean Buchanan. Already has one WPT title to his name four times at the final table. Well, Ravi in the rare spot of possibly going from worst to first. King Bucky. He was just hoping his opponent didn't have a hand there, but looked like he could have bet four or five hundred thousand learned the same thing. We'll see what happens. Well, here comes Jack, nine, nine. So Ravi out in front with nines and sevens, but notice if a Jack comes off, Sean Buchanan would have the best hand. 
with Jackson Nines and a king kicker. So right now, he's looking for a king or a jack to take the lead to stay alive in this tournament. Probably just remaining very calm until all the cards are gone. But his heart is pounding right now, I can tell you. Here comes the turn. And eight comes up. Now this gives more outs for Sean Buchanan. He can now win the pot if a king comes off, a jack comes off, or an eight comes off. They would split the pot if a 10 comes off. So a lot of outs for Bucky here, but he's got to catch something. But if none of that Dude. stuff happens, Dude. we're going to have a champion. It's going to be Robbie Ragavan. Here's the River Carter, the four diamonds. That's going to do it. Robbie's our champion. Oh, great. <laughs> and Vance Robbie is the fourth person in WPT history to come into the final table in last place and to take down the title. Congratulations to him. He's going to take home $1.2 million over that. He's our champion of the Doyle Brunson Five Diamond. Let's go down and see him. Easy game, man. Easy game. Sean, great night. You didn't really catch any cards tonight, but you still had a great effort. Uh, I mean, it was a lot of fun. I was uh, fairly card dead, but uh, I was happy with how the final table kind of played out. And then uh, it was tough to make moves when, with my stack size. I mean, one hand, and if you double 2.5 to 5 million, it can change fast. So I was just trying to hang in there and see what happened, but it didn't work out today. Well, you're still taking three quarters of a million back to Canada, eh? Yep. <laughs> Congratulations. Mike, over to you. Congratulations once again. We'll see you back here at Bellagio for the WPT World Championship. Kimberly, back to you.